Well, also last night, Lockwood voters authorized Lockwood school trustees to expand their school district to include a possible high school. Now, the district now has two years to plan to levy taxes to build that new school. A measure last night passing with a significant majority, 69% in favor, 31% opposed. Q2 Samantha Harrelson joins us tonight with more on Lockwood's plans moving forward. Sammy. Well, Jane Janelle, I spoke with Tim Sather, the chair of the Lockwood School Board today, who says they're excited that not only did the measure pass, but that it passed with overwhelming support. To be clear, the vote does not authorize construction of a high school, but is a big step forward in the process. Sather says this issue has been talked about for years in the Lockwood community and says it seemed that this was the right time to move forward. This is the most excited I've seen the community about this. I don't know that I've run into anybody that said no. So everybody I've talked to is, is yes, you got to get it done right now. We want it. And that's across the board, people with kids, people with older kids, and obviously the kids, people with their younger kids that will attend this school if it's built. So it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. Sather says the next step is finding an architect and getting a plan together. He's hopeful they could have something on the ballots again in May. Of course, he knows they can't celebrate this win too long as they will now have to ask voters for the millions of dollars it would take to build a high school. Janelle? All right, thanks, Sammy.